Chris Hanning. Our suggestion is Quincy. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you smoking in the lab? <laughs> I need to think. Fair enough. The only way I can think now is through a cigarette. Have you found the cure for cancer yet? No. <laughs> Just keep cutting up bodies. <laughs> keep looking. It's gonna be in the heart of a pure boy one day. It's <laughs> what a professor always said. <laughs> professor Quincy. Yeah. He always he's... told us to look in the hearts of the pure boys. Yeah, he said that's where the cure for cancer will be. <laughs> He had very unorthodox methods. I think that's how he lost his license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue on his legacy. You, know? you and me, a couple of rogue morticians. <laughs> oh! There's a bullet. <laughs> Cured his cancer. <laughs> yeah, at least cancer didn't kill him. Maybe that's the cure. Maybe. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Technically, the body is still riddled with cancer. Yeah. Even if they die of other means, they still got cancer. How's your wife? She's not doing too good. Oh my God. She went to the Amazon. And that makes sense, of, yeah. yeah. Met some of those tribes you only ever see in like, you know, 1930s horror movies. Oh, I love those movies. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> At least one of those tribes is real and they shrunk her head. Yeah. <laughs> She's still a looker. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's a bit weird. <laughs> weird about it. No, How no. else am I supposed to express my love? Well, I just mean don't express it in front of me here in the lab. And the, the boys, there's boys in there. There's children. I'm sorry I hit your wife's head up. At least your wife didn't leave you. She left me in a manner of speaking, but... Yeah. You're right, she loved me until the end. Yeah, it's less painful than watching your wife walk out the door with a suitcase. I'll tell you that much. Did you ever get the suitcase back? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was full of boys. I know, that's Just how Just between you and me, I'm starting to think my wife is the one killing all these boys. <laughs> You think that's crazy of me to think that? Because all the things add up. Mostly all the boys she said. <laughs> I, I thought it was strange, the way you kept keep getting boys to your door. But... Yeah, and I thought at first she just loved science, but then it didn't quite add up. <laughs> it's never just bullets, though. Yeah. It's the interesting thing. Whoever is killing these boys, it's different methods. Yeah, every time. This one's got a shoestring. Yeah. I don't know how it got in the heart. Well, oh no, it's, yeah. No, there's a small place. There's a, you see, she cut him here and then forced it up. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason why I think it's my wife, because she constantly threatened to do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> like going into your heart was just a metaphor. But maybe she meant it literally. Yeah, no, yeah, she she would say she meant it literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got a confession to make. <laughs> what? I mean, I've been awful lonely since my wife left. And sometimes I take out your wife head and kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> she just, I mean, I'm sorry. Oh man, no, you're You're cheating on my wife. You're cheating on me with my wife. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> you acted surprised when I told you what happened to her. Yeah, well, no, I didn't. I, I didn't know it was your wife. I just, just knew it was a hot little head. And a <laughs> I'm sorry. No, now that I know it's your wife, well, I'll tell her we'll be friends, and it will be. But you know, we have something already. Who knows? <laughs> While she's sleeping now, we'll discuss this one when she wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to think that we're never going to cure cancer. Then this whole... <laughs> Don't you ever think like that. <laughs> okay? We didn't go into dissecting dead bodies not to cure cancer. <laughs> okay? We gotta do it. We gotta do it for Professor Quincy. Okay? Because he died. lost his... Yeah? Died of cancer. He died of cancer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we told him on his deathbed. Yeah. That we were gonna put an end to what killed him. Yeah. Not soon enough. <clears throat> we're fuck-ups. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been doing this ten years. And... <clears throat> there it is. <laughs> After all these years, a notebook with the cure for cancer. <laughs> Jesse Hughes and Matt McCready, Olaf and Katrinka, and Pondred Bound, so please stick around. <laughs>